Bye, Mommy. I'm gonna miss you so much. I'll see you for Thanksgiving dinner when you make the turkey and the stuffing. <laughs> inspiration here and on this channel we come to encourage enlighten and inspire so if you're ready for it stay tuned it's that time of year again moving day y'all let me dry my fake tears off y'all you don't understand it took me a lot to do that so hopefully you guys appreciate that and the shot turns out right but anyway it's that time of year again where you move in and fit your whole entire life into this small little tiny room with a little teeny size twin size bed but don't worry, it's a lot better than what it sounds like. Why you always lying? Um, and on this video, I'm going to show you, or not show you, tell you how to make your freshman year on and popping right after you kiss your mama goodbye. I am so ready to go back to school. I got my Clemson shirt on. I got my little Clemson pen and the Clemson notebook. So I am prepared, and I hope you are too, because it's coming up sooner than you think. So let me paint the picture for you. You're in your dorm room. You just close. You just kissed your mama goodbye. You close the door. First thing you need to do, open that door right back up because you need to keep your door open. That's probably one of the best things about living in a college dorm is you're surrounded by people who are in the same situation, just got there. They're all scared, don't know what to do. So you need to like communicate with others and be open. Because that's, you never know. You can meet your best friend. I personally, I was walking down my hallway, like, where, especially the very first day and, like, the second day, or basically the whole first week, um, just, you know, popping in, saying, hey, what's up? My name's Nia. And they're like, oh, okay. Um, and you never know. You can meet your best friend that way. So definitely keep your door open unless, you know, you need to close it because you get changed or whatever. But if not, stay open because it's college. It's fun, you know etc second thing get to know your roommate y'all will be sharing the exact same living space for a whole entire year and i um lived like with me and my mom so i didn't have to share it was just like my own space so being there with other people i was like you're not gonna pick that up you wake up this early I don't know and me and my roommate did not have a very good experience so but that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day but I wish you and your roommate the best um but if not there are other options that you can do um but definitely get to talk to your roommate like you know I think you already kind of know like the basics like wake up early wake up late like know each other's schedules but delve in a little bit deeper because these people don't know you and you don't know these people like y'all probably just talk to each other like over text or maybe have like a phone call or two snapchat and back and forth but you really don't know them so get to know them um in that first week so you can establish like a good relationship from the jump um what's next go to all of the events that your school has your very first week I know at Clemson, students move in like Friday or Saturday, and then classes do not start till Wednesday. So you have like, I don't know, four, five days. I didn't do the math. You have nothing else to do. So get your butt up, go to all those events that they have. You're, first of all, you're gonna meet a whole bunch of people. Second of all, you get a whole bunch of free stuff. Like I know I have like this Clemson orange shirt, I'm pretty sure I got like for that event. I have like a whole drawer full of orange or purple shirts just because that's what they give. They love to give out stuff to students, um, and especially in that first week. And you just, you know, making connections, it's going to help, I guess, break that shy bubble. Because I know a lot of people are like, oh, I'm shy. I don't want to, you know, I'm scared to get out and go out and do stuff. That ain't going to cut it in college, y'all. You are on your own. It's preparing you for the real world, and the real world is cutthroat. So you need to go out there. Don't be scared. What you need to do is get a group me. Uh, if you don't know what group me is, it's a very popular uh, like group messaging app and you can have like thousands of people in them. Or I don't know thousands, but at least hundreds of people in them. Um, in my school, we use it. We have like group me's for whatever like specific thing that you're in, whether it be STEM. I know we have like a black Clemson um, 
you have a group me for like your class, so class of twenty three or I'm class of twenty two. So definitely get group me, um, get involved in the conversation. I'll put my group me on mute because they be talking way too much, but I do like check in, you know, once a day, maybe once every other day, see if there's anything like important that I may have missed because they be dropping gem gems in there that you would not have even known about. Um, and talk to the upperclassmen because those are the ones that start the group meets and they can know a lot of information that would help you out. Um, like me, if you're at Clemson, reach out to me. Um, I'm on group me, YouTube, Instagram, all that good stuff. I don't know everything, but the little bit that I do know, I can help you out with. And last thing I would say is stay open-minded. You're in college, you're in a whole new world. Do stuff that you would not normally do. Talk to people that you would not normally talk to. Try things that you would not normally try because you never know. Like I said, you might find your best friend doing some of these things. You might find a new passion, a new interest, which could, which could totally take you down a different direction in your life. Because I think that's a common problem that people from high school have. They want to have their whole life planned out and get everything together. And it's like, you never know. Like college, I think it's such a great opportunity for you to try things and experience things that could take you down a whole different path. So definitely um, stay open-minded and don't be scared, don't be shy. Um, this is a great time for you to develop and grow as a person and learn a lot about yourself that you didn't know. Y'all thought I was finished, didn't you? One more thing that you need to do. Go to the football game. Yes. Um, I know that's specific for Clemson. You better go to a football game. Even if you're not a football fan, it's first of all, it's free. So why would you not? Because people pay a lot of money to go to these games. Second of all, it is a great experience. Especially if you sit up in the student section. You're sitting there screaming. You have your face painted. They're throwing out stuff in the crowd. Like, I know when I saw myself on TV, like... I was actually on like television, y'all, like television. I was like, that's me. Um, and you can see like photos of yourself, like professional photos, because they take them. And even if you're not a football fan, like I was not the biggest football fan, but I love it. I go to every single home game that we have. Um, and I'm ready this year too. I'm gonna be in line. I'm so excited, y'all. So if your school is not known for football, like let's say you go to Duke or something, go to the basketball games because those are so intense. Whatever your school is kind of like known for, even if it's not sports, maybe it's like the performing arts or whatever, go um, to those events, get some school pride and enjoy yourself. Those are all my little tips to getting your school year off to a great start. Make sure you do them, um, continue to do them, and you're going to do great this year. I wish you guys the best. Um, a whole lot more videos to come. I'll be doing a move-in video because I moved in, what, Saturday? So I still gotta pack. Like, if only y'all could see like what's in front of me. Nothing but boxes and suitcases, but it's okay because it'll look good by the Saturday. Um, yeah, I wish you guys the best. Stay tuned and have a great day. Mm -hmm.